Hey everyone, welcome back. Look at this tail. It is on guard right Wagging. now. <laughs> Wagging. Deanne from the Humane Society of Utah is here. Thanks for coming in. Happy 4th of July. Oh, to you too. Thanks for yeah, having us. You're yeah. working on the holidays and the Humane Society is open today? We are open from 10 to 5 today. Okay. We want to make sure all these animals find homes every day of the week. <laughs> every day of the year sure. we can. So this is bear, right? This is bear. He's, he's and he very, is a bear. He he wants to smell no, he's everything nothing but right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a two-year-old neutered black and tan hound, and right now he just wants to smell everything. So he's great with other dogs, but would do well in a home with older children. The previous owner said he is known to smell out that food and snatch it from mm. smaller kids' hands. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Well, good. it's definitely instinctual, really, just sniffing all over the place. Yeah, really calm, really sweet dog, just a little excited, always coming and meeting new people. You have so many wonderful animals mm -hmm. there. If a big hound dog isn't what you were hoping for or in the market for, there's plenty of choices at the Humane Society. Now, you say he's, of course, excited, but let's talk about Fourth of July, fireworks, and as it relates to pets, kind of some of the tips around Fourth of July with all the activities going on. Yeah. Give us some, uh, some thoughts there. We definitely want to remind owners that the Fourth of July and the 24th are definitely um, a lot of stimulation for your pets. The loud noises, the lights, and it can scare them. And a lot of pets go missing. So make sure they're tagged, better yet microchipped. We mm. do all of that at our clinic. But keep them indoors. If it's an outside dog, bring it in. Put it in a safe room so when they get spooked, they're not running around and tearing up your house and injuring themselves. And if you have to leave the house and leave them home unattended, just play the TV or some music to keep them calm. Right. Do them because these uh, pets do get uh, scared, frightened, mm -hmm. they leave. Do you get like an influx of pets coming in that are actually owners that you're trying to find? The uh, July 5th day is a 30% increase basically really? in animals oh, that come to the shelter. A lot of animals get lost on the 4th and, and it can be because they're out at parties or parks or they just have escaped from the backyard and they dig and jump and do things that you wouldn't expect when they're really scared. Huh. Well, last night I was sitting outside uh, in my backyard and there were lots of people lighting off fireworks, you know, home displays all the dogs in the neighborhood they were all barking, barking just going right. crazy and i thought oh, sure enough and yeah. you can you can imagine bear with his hound howl <laughs> we'll definitely oh, chime okay. into he's that he's got the howl all he's right got the howl. all right dn well thanks so much um always you could find all the information for the humane society of utah on our website there's their address 4242 south 300 west in murray their number is 801-261-2919 we could link you over to their website you could find out more information and also view all the adoptable pets they have there so thanks again so much for coming in on the holiday weekend. You guys are so dedicated to the animals and we admire it and we are so happy to have you in each weekend. Thank you. Thanks, Deanne. Have a great day. You know,